I'm just going to speak to you from the heart about this magnificent prayer that Jesus himself gave us in response to a request, Lord, teach us how to pray. And Jesus said, when you pray, and this is literally, as all of it is, the teaching of Jesus Christ. When you pray, you are to say, Our Father. That's how the prayer begins, Our. Think about that word, Our. That means that you and I and every Christian, we're one. Our Father. There's only one Father. We have the same Father. That makes us brothers and sisters. You know, that's a great consolation. Sometimes we tend to think we're alone. Sometimes the devil likes to isolate us, get us off in a corner, and make us think we, we have no one, that we're alone, that we have to do all this on our own, and we don't. Our, our Father, my Father, your Father, every Christian's Father, one only Father, we're brothers and sisters. Your needs are my needs. Your tears are my tears. Your pain is my pain. Your sanctification is my sanctification. We're in it together. We're one. One soul we have. His name is the Holy Spirit. One head, one Lord, one master. His name is Jesus. The same for all of us. And so we pray for each other. We build each other up in faith. We love each other. I tell you, this is the answer to all the world's problems. The answers aren't out there. The answers are in here. And when you and I can understand that to say our Father is to admit that we are one in Christ. And when some poor man is cold under a bridge because he's homeless, he's part of it too. He's part of the family of God because he's created in God's image. And when some poor family has no food for Christmas or any other day, they're part of that hour. My brother is hungry. My brother is thirsty. My brother needs clothing. My brother needs a place to live. My brother needs love. And so the cry of Jesus from the cross becomes our cry, I thirst, I thirst for your love. I thirst for compassion because Jesus is our brother. And when we say our father, it's Jesus who's one with this. Oh, the father is different for Jesus. He's the father of Jesus by nature. We're children by adoption in Christ, but we still have the same father, our father. And remember who the hour is. Remember that so long as one soul walks the face of the earth in pain, in coldness, in hunger, rejected, persecuted, prejudiced against, that's my brother, that's my sister, and he's taken up into that great hour of the Our Father.